Let's bring I on a lot of goals Philip <laughs> Deneau to congratulate him on his new deal. So, Philip, it turns out that the playoffs are telecast all over the world <laughs> in color and in HD. So what you did, everybody noticed, including the L.A. Kings. Congrats on the new deal. How does it feel to be recognized for what was a remarkable end to your campaign with the Canadiens? Uh, I don't know. So many, uh, so many words in my mind right now, and uh, uh, so many feelings. Uh, being, uh, I don't know, Kings, obviously uh, something I never expected. Uh, going on a free agent, and um, everything happened uh, so quick. And I went to final with Montreal. Uh, been there for five or six years uh, as a big part of the team, and then just like that, move on to the Kings and. I uh, want to be uh, um, a big part of the team as well. So um, I really like the the love that the LA Kings uh, showed me. The, the the way they were talking about me was high and uh, they believed in me um, on the, my role uh, that they're going to give me. So it's uh, definitely a lot of emotion, but um, uh, I'm really happy. Yeah, and congratulations, Philip. Uh, you know, I have to believe that, uh, you know, given the, your skill set as a player, given the run you had and, and how well you showed through the postseason this past year, you had, you had your choice in some places to land. What is it about the L.A. Kings? I have to believe they're selling you on. You're going to take on a broader role, a broader set of responsibilities. What is it about the potential fit there that sold you on the Kings? Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, I talked with Rob, uh, Blake, uh, Luke, uh, Robert Ty, and Todd, the, the coach. Uh, they show me a lot of good things uh, for the future. Uh, they show me how they believe in their group and uh, every uh, little thing I could um, see of, all the lineup, everything. So um, they really sell it uh, really good to me. And uh, uh, it was, you know what, it was a no choice. Um, the way they were talking about me and the way they believe in me. Uh, like I said, the role they were giving um, to myself, um, I think it was no choice there uh, at all. It was just uh, instant uh, answering yes. And uh, obviously, I'm very proud to be here, uh, LA King. And um, also, uh, like I said, it's a big uh, shock for my, my family and I, but it's uh, I'm very proud to be there. Well, Philip, uh, yeah, congratulations on your deal. It's been fun watching you develop as a, as a top flight centerman as well. Uh, how excited are you to play with a guy like Anshay Kopitar? Yeah, uh, if I can call him Kopi, uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's an awesome player. I've been watching him. I was in Montreal, not the same uh, kind of division, but uh, obviously he's a great model uh, player uh, on ice and I'm sure off ice too, but um, his skill asset is unbelievable. So it's uh, it's an honor for me to play uh, behind uh, Anze Kopitar and a uh, uh, remarkable player uh, to watch for sure. You've drawn comparisons from our experts to Kopitar and Patrice Bergeron in that you could be a Selkie candidate, a Selkie finalist in years to come. One thing that dazzles me as I look up and down your stats, since 2015-16, you have been above 50% on the dot every single year. Face-offs are important. Puck possession is important. Why is it that you are so good at face-offs? <laughs> I don't know. I learned from the best, I guess. Uh, I think Yannick Perro helped me a lot uh, back in Rockford. Uh, HL team of uh, Chicago uh, helped me a lot to um, to grow my game on faceoff. And obviously, I understand real quick that faceoff was a huge, huge part of the game. And especially in playoff, you know, end of games, sometimes you take 30 draws a night. So uh, those uh, those draws are huge. And, um, you know, I just understand the importance. And I took a lot of pride in taking uh, that battle every single night uh, on a face-off. Philip, I know you didn't get the results you wanted, but it was, uh, it was a brilliant run for you and your Montreal Canadiens to get to the finals this year. As a player, you know, you, you can always take something away from that. Would you learn as a player? Would you learn from about yourself through the experience? I think it was... Uh... I learned that winning is really hard, and uh, that's the. It's also the best feeling uh, of uh, of everything. Winning is everything. Um, that's what I learned pretty much, and uh, I really want to repeat that uh, with LA. And I believe in that group, uh, like uh, Rob and Luke were talking about it. Uh, I I really do believe uh, in the, those young guys coming up and Kopi, Drew, uh, Quick. So uh, these guys are a great model as well, and to follow up. 
and uh it's gonna be an awesome experience and um but yeah i think uh you know it's it's hard to win but it was also the best feeling and um not satisfying obviously we lost but uh very uh proud uh the the pride of, of uh winning every single single series and uh creating that feeling it was uh, unbelievable and i'm definitely hungry for more you have a lot to be proud of that run was remarkable and clearly the kings have a lot of faith in you going forward congratulations on your contract and thanks for joining us thank you very much guys appreciate it